my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus some of us have been to a circus at some time or the other in our life one of the most important characteristics in a circus is undoubtedly the clown the clown can make people laugh and see the lighter side of life the clown usually always appears with a smiling countenance this amusing humorous appearance of the clown is a result of the mark that is on but the clown perhaps as an important lesson for us, for all of us to learn the clown says most people in life in actuality wear mask the only difference is that mine is seen outside am i wearing a mask this mask that many of us wear is the mask of hypocrisy and duplicity we are into a reflection of this aspect of hypocrisy yet again in today's gospel with the jesus exhortation on this evil tendency with a greater force and urgency hypocrisy is a vice which is which is much hated by jesus hypocrisy is vice which jesus constantly asked to weed out hypocrisy is a vice which often lurks its head in our lives knowingly or unknowingly hypocrisy is duplicity hypocrisy is pretense hypocrisy is a facade hypocrites are people who try to impress others to hide their real lives who act more spiritual and holy than they are who behave to be too good before others but a sh- scam within them do i have any of such hypocritic acting in my life a lord calls this vice of hypocrisy as a yeast jesus tells be aware of the yeast of the pharisees which is hypocrisy why yeast yeast or leaven is something that is used in basking yeast has the contagious property of the influence a little amount of yeast is enough to raise a dung or leaven the batter it has a significant characteristics of exercising great influence hypocrisy is such though a little amount it is highly influential like the yeast hypocritical people are able to boast much about themselves and exert harmful controls to make other people highly pessimistic and negative to drain out the spirit and the enthusiasm in others east starts slow but multiplies east starts its activity in a quiet manner but it spreads very quickly and rapidly it has the great characteristics of exercising its great influence in a timid way but raises very fast swiftly how does this hypocrisy usually originate one possible reason could be arising from fear fear of people makes one adopt a total different disposition and character fear of the situations makes one adjust with a duplicate personality and behavior fear of one's weaknesses makes one alter the style of life and temper with one's nature that's why the lord in today's gospel would strongly exhort fear not when we banish the fear of many factors we can be our real self when we cast out cast away the fear of our material worries we can live our true identity god is our loving father our caring person he wants us to grow in holiness and sanctity we all wear masks and the time sometimes come when we cannot remove them without removing a part of our own skin the lord today invites us to peel away our mask of hypocrisy by casting away our fears by throwing ourselves into the care of a loving god our beloved father in heaven let us not be a clown 
who has a plastic smile because of the mask, rather become a people who truly rejoice and radiate the joy and the happiness of being precious children of our loving Father in heaven. May God bless us all.